is 646 Speaks. Thanks for joining us. We're taking a live look at Moosehead Lake in Greenville. I guess the silver lining in some of this heat is that the water temperatures are climbing up just a little yeah. bit. So you, you saw me earlier try to act like I was doing cannonball in that. Uh, right? That was pretty good. Yeah, if you, you want to get it in the lake or some sort of body of water today, <laughs> stay cool. Uh, air conditioning. Fans, you got anything to say uh, to stay uh, cool today because your body needs it. It's not just uh, we're complaining. It's hot and nasty outside. It is that, uh, but it's also dangerously uh, hot. This is uh, the equivalent of when we get sub zero wind chills and issues in the wintertime. It's the opposite for summer. The heat index is what it feels like, and you can see the heat index in the interior spots 100 to 105 heat exhaustion, heat stroke. Very prone if you're out there in this in the sun too. Uh, so make sure you hydrate with tons of water, even when you feel like it's not necessary, especially when you're watching the kids, the pets. Pets need a ton of water and shade, too. Uh, at the coastline, we have a heat advisory, too. It's going to feel like 95 to 100, even in the mid coast and Portland, even the mountains in the heat advisory today as well. If you are uh, in that excessive heat warning, it's from noon to 8 p.m. Feel like 95 to 105. Rest frequently. Get in shade, get in the AC to cool your body temperature down and getting sitting in the pool <laughs> and the lake is helpful for that and hydrate and check on others, including those pets and the elderly. All right, so on the eight day today on this Juneteenth, 91 degrees, it feels like 100 to 105, but we also have an angry atmosphere late this afternoon. So a couple of storms may fire up and they may be strong to severe. Uh, and we'll be watching those carefully. Now, I think there's a better chance of that tomorrow as we peak our heat on the summer solstice. Uh, you can see to the west, scattered severe storms, a marginal risk for maybe an isolated storm during the afternoon and early evening. But I think by the time the cold front gets in here, we're going to have some pretty heavy rain tomorrow night as that heat finally breaks by Friday, 78 degrees. Now, interestingly enough, with that 78 degrees, uh, we're going to be looking at the humidity still around much of the day. Saturday, we get rid of the humidity. It's going to be cool. In fact, it's warmer right now than it will be during the afternoon on Saturday and even Sunday. Uh, you can see it looks wet and cooler over the weekend, but at least some heat, not high heat, returns next week for summer.